new hat. Yes, this is my new gala hat. I gotta go for my first day. Bye. My student got seven offers last week, one from Google, one from Amazon. If you're also preparing for the product manager interview at Google, you should stay until the end of this video because I'm gonna share with you what type of questions you will be asked and how to prepare for those interviews so that you will also get an offer from Google very soon. Hi guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee from drnancy.com. I help people transition from worker bee to a product manager and business leader. If you want to learn the most effective way to become a product manager, you should subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button so that you'll be notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. If you like any of the tips I provide today and if you land an offer because of my tips, please comment down below and share this video and hit the smash the like button so that more people will discover this organic content. When you prepare for Google product manager interview, you need to get ready for these five types of interview questions. Number one is product sense and product design interview. Number two is the estimation interview. Number three is product management knowledge type of interviews. Number four is technical interview questions. Number five is behavioral interview. At the end, I'm also going to give you the bonus tip about how to get an offer fast from Google using the strategic planning method. When you prepare for a Google product manager interview, you need to get ready for these five type of interview questions plus a strategy planning tip. So I'm going to walk through each of those key interview questions with a specific interview question so that we can get you ready to land an offer very quickly. Another disclaimer is that all the interview questions I provide to you is what you can find in the public internet. They're all real interview questions at Google. Number one, product sense and product design interview question. Google would like to see as a product manager if you have customer empathy, if you have experience turning a product from concept to execution, and if you know how to use the right method to design and launch a product. So therefore, the product sense and product case interview questions are the perfect one to test this out. There are several sample questions like this. Design a cell phone for blind people. Could also be design the YouTube experience for people from age 20 to 30 in the US to increase the convergence. When you receive these kind of interview questions, you need to pick a specific framework. I recommend a modified circles framework. The step one of circles framework is very important. You need to ask the clarifying questions, but I've seen lots of candidates made lots of mistakes when they ask these questions. When you ask clarifying questions, you should focus on scope, not the users. For example, you should ask, what do you mean by Convergence, do you mean the ads conversion or the conversion of the entire YouTube site or the conversion of people spending more time watching YouTube videos? You shouldn't ask the following questions such as, what user segment between age and 30 do you want me to design it for? Do you want me to design for people in school or young professionals? So tell me more about the users so that I can design for them. By the way, why people in age 20 and 30 would like to use YouTube? Can you tell me more? All these questions are very wrong questions because you as a product manager, you need to explore the customer needs, prioritize the customer, and most importantly, segment your customers. I have collected a full list of clarifying questions you should ask during the product sense design interview question. So you should directly download this sheet right now and use the right questions to ask the interviewer. When you design these specific solutions, please also pay close attention to your solutions because you shouldn't bring your solution too early into the process without exploring and prioritizing your customer segmentations and customer needs. That's one of the biggest mistakes. And specifically for Google, one of your three solutions has to be a moonshot solutions. Moonshot represents something like crazy, or anything come out of Elon Musk ideas and moonshot ideas. If you want to learn more about how I come up with the moonshot ideas and how I apply the circles framework to answer one of the most asked interview questions, you should watch this video right here. If you're not able to come up with moonshot ideas, it's very likely you will get killed in the Google interview. Now let's talk about the estimation question. It's a great way to test your analytical skills and engineering thinking. At Google, they will ask you questions like this. Estimate how many umbrellas are sold in a city when it rains? Or estimate how many high-end speakers are sold in the US every year? When you answer this type of questions, I recommend all of you guys to use the top-down approach. For example, if we answer how many um, like high-end speakers getting sold in the US, you should start with the total number of 
uh, people in the US, the population, and then you split it into the households. Because usually not one person having one speaker, it's probably several people or one household share one speaker. And then from there, you ask me how many people are there in a household, you can break it down per words like young people, and you can also break it down per like family members. And each of these segments, they had different likelihoods of owning a speaker. Now we know the total number of households. The next step is among these households, how many are median income and how many are high income? Because it's a high-end speaker, we would assume the low income families will not be able to afford high-end speaker. So therefore, you just estimate the percentage of medium income and high income household. Now within the median income household, what likelihood, what percentage of them will get a speaker? And then how many they will buy every year? You will assume they buy one for median income family households. And then for the high income household, you can estimate what percentage of them will buy a high end speaker. And then how many speakers they will buy per year? Then afterwards, is that you should estimate what's a typical life cycle of a speaker because when somebody buy a speaker you're not going to replace it right away in a year right so probably you can estimate it's about three years life cycle which means within three years people will get a new high-end speaker again and then using this mathematical equation it's very easy for you to understand and estimate how many high-end speakers are sold in the u.s so the best way to get sharp and fast in solving all those estimation questions is practice real life interview questions. If you want to get access to my real life interview questions database, feel free to comment in the description of this video. Let me know if you want me to share with you guys. I'm more than happy to make another video and share with you all the database I have. The third type of question to be asked in a Google product manager interview is the product management knowledge specific questions. For example, they may ask you, what are the different kind of IoT platforms are there in the market? What are the trade-offs among different options? Which one is the best and why? And those questions are more likely to show up if you know you're going to interview for the IoT group, which means if you interview for any other group like cloud group, you need to get ready for those cloud-specific product questions. Besides these product-specific questions, we'll also ask you these questions. How would you prioritize product features? How would you turn a product from concept to execution? Tell me the product you're most proud of, things like this. The reason they design these questions is that the interviewer wants to see in your answers whether you have product management experience before, whether after they hire you can hit the ground and running, and whether they can assign really important and big scale tasks to you or not. So therefore, I recommend all of you guys, when you're getting ready for any product management interview, especially in such a competitive space like Google, you need to learn product management skill very solid ahead of time. I also recommend all of you guys to build a product portfolio and start to exercise and learn how would you use your own hands, own experience to build a product so that you will be more confident in answering these kind of product management specific questions. The best way to prepare for these interview questions is by learning and doing until you make it instead of fake it until you make it. And there's another warning, I do not recommend any of you guys to use consultant framework to answer product management interview question that will not get you an offer at all. If you want to learn the real product management skills for free, feel free to check out my YouTube videos right here teaching you how to launch a product from concept to execution and how does Google product manager launch a product using the agile practice and check out more video and start to learn for free today. When you answer these questions, you need to plug in the specific product knowledge you have and also use the right methodology and right keywords and right framework of product management. Number four is a technical interview question, which is the hardest interview question in my opinion, because Google will ask a software engineer to test your software knowledge. This is crazy. So the type of questions I ask you, including the following, for example, how does the browser work? How does the Gmail inbox work? How to reduce the energy consumption of your TikTok app in your cell phone? In order to answer these kind of questions, you need to learn two most important skills. First of all, is system design. Second is architecture. So let me break it down for you. System design means how would you be able to use the right system thinking process to break down any complicated problem into smaller components, such as what are the servers, like hash functions and cloud and databases and things like this. How all these are functioning and connecting with each other so that you're able to use 
the right breakdown methodology to answer the questions above. On top of that, I also teach people how to use the CPT framework, which I personally invented to answer those kind of system design questions. CPT stands for customers, product, technology. When you answer these kind of questions, for example, how to reduce energy consumption of TikTok app on your cell phone, you need to think about how would you reduce this from the customer, product, and also the technology perspective and apply the system thinking, break down this problem. And I personally learned system design thinking directly from MIT, and you can find any other courses on the market teach you this key skill set as well. And on top of that, I also teach the MIT system design thinking in my own product manager accelerator. You can check out more information at the description of this video. Besides system design, you also need to learn software architecture in order to crack the case, such as how does the browser work. I also recommend you guys to check out several free YouTube videos and out there teach you software architecture. And I found several really good ones, such as cloud architecture, like browser architecture, front end and back end, how the software system works. You can find out the link to the recommended YouTube video at the description of this video as well. Number five is the behavioral interview question. In almost all the interview you guys are going through, they will ask you behavioral interview question. Specifically, in product management position at Google, they're looking for the following skill set. Leadership, conflict resolution, communication, and inference without authority. Let me give you some simple questions. Tell me a time when you failed. Tell me a time when you had a conflict with an engineer. Tell me a time when you tell the stakeholders that they were wrong. Tell me a time when you tell the customers they are wrong. When you answer these questions, you need to present yourself as a leader, not worker bee. Do not tell them too much detailed information about what exactly happened, the 10 steps you did. You should laser focus on how to be sharp, concise, and high impact. Because everybody joined Google, those kind of top companies, they're all type A personality. So they're all very sharp and aggressive. So therefore, when you answer this question, you need to present yourself in the same way. There's a really good framework I personally invented to make your answer very short and sharp and concise. It's called Dr. Nancy Lee's Grail Framework. I'm going to make more videos about this Grail Framework later on. You can see the sample answers of me answering the questions. Tell me about yourself in 30 seconds in this video. Here is a bonus tip. How would you be able to land a job in Google quickly? What's the right strategy to prepare yourself in this journey? Most importantly, I recommend all of you guys to schedule your Google interview about a month and a half or maybe two months out so that you will have enough time to prepare. This could be one of the hardest interview for the product management position. And second, when you are getting ready for Google interview, I recommend all of you guys to practice with startups. Some company don't really like to be honest so that you get into the interview mode. You will not be able to interview with Google again if you fail any Google interview within a year. So therefore, you need to optimize your success rate landing those job offers. If you want to learn more about how would you be able to ace those kind of product sense, product design interview questions, make sure you download the list of clarifying interview questions you need to use to ace those product manager interview questions at Google. If you like any of the tips I provided or you receive a job offer from Google, just like my students, feel free to smash the like button, share these YouTube videos with others so that more people will discover this organic content. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. I'm going to see you next time. Good luck. Bye.